There may be moments when you can't stop them. If that's the case, try putting your team's best defender on a player that is cooking. To do this, press the icon matchup bumper, select the icon of the defender on your team, and select the offensive player on the court from the list that appears on the side of the screen. For him, last game against the Heat in Miami. It's stolen by Leonard. If your best defender is still having problems getting a stop, try holding the icon matchup bumper to send a double team. Hopefully, the double team will force the offensive player to get rid of the ball. Shoots over Jackson. A big time effort. There are several ways to play smart defense without being called for a foul. Take advantage of using your hands with a pro stick. If you hold the right stick up. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. For the Utah Jazz, they come in two tonight after the loss to the Dallas Mavericks and just couldn't finish strong. They took a four-point loss in that one. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind, a step slower out there all game. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Young, smooth out there with LeBron James. Then it's Joe Harris, and it's Curry in at the one. Four on the shot clock. The drive by Mitchell, and that one drops for him. Early on here, Greg, we already see some second-year players looking much improved over their rookie season. Yeah, and if you put in the work, you're not guessing as much. You're comfortable now with the speed and physicality of the game. And I know I cut way back on my turnovers at the start of my second year. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. Passes it to Gobert. The dish to Mitchell. about one minute into the first got a piece of it young with the steal goes up and then young with the jam and that's rocking the rim give him the two points and tack on some for style oh he deserves them he deserves all the points he can get there sensation i call that an executive summary statement and that's life above the rim Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And then jam down as he goes right over Rudy Gay. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Mitchell against Young. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Hey, guys, one of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. But nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And amazing to even consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Knocked away. And they're running. Here's Harris. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. And getting out in transition has been a big part of this run that they're on. It's been a slow start here for Utah. Trailing by 10. Conley finds Gobert. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Conley against Young. With the drive. Oh, and the dunk by Young. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical 
approach. And you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Now here is Conley. Curry passes to James. Over Gobert. And LeBron, LeBron with the basket, James. the assist by Curry. Assisted by James has got his second Stephen bucket of the night. Curry. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Mitchell outside to stop the run, and the layup is good. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge, and if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. Now here's LeBron. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. One shot. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive way. Tell you what, forget about LeBron easing James. into the game. They One came time. out with guns blazing. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the Jazz making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. Free throw good, James. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after this. Large guard loves to drive it, and somebody on defense needs to rotate in front of Clarkson if you're going to stop him. Young fires away from outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. Jazz trail by 13. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. That's all you. Mitchell against Young. And Mitchell gets it to go. Mitchell's got six. And that's Mitchell at his best. Playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D grabbing for air. On its way from Young for two. And he sinks that one hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's his first. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. That one misses for Young. Jazz trail by 15. Pass to Bogdanovich. 105 left in the first quarter. The teardrop falls in. Boy, just a gorgeous touch from Bogdanovich there. Love to see him go with the floater. That's such an effective shot. Barry's the long-range jumper. He has five. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Young, good. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. They get a hand on it, and stolen by James. And now here comes Young leading the break, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Young against Mitchell. Going inside, rejected by Young. Here's Smooth. What a play! He simply trains it in at the buzzer. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. 
Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blowout already in this one. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Smooth out there with Harris. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Young, and it's LeBron, and it's the five down low. Pass to O'Neal, poked away. And here they come. For the finish, and then Young with the dunk. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Well, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for Utah. He gets that one. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now, here's Curry. Five points in the game. Harris finds Young. Over Ingles. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. And that's 20 points for Champ. You know, with Harris, if you're open, he's going to make sure he finds you. Curry with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Here's James and the dunk by LeBron. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense the no time the to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. And the Jazz call time here. And a lot of players want a voice in team strategy. And I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. James Harden has checked in for him. James Harden. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Drives to the hoop. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. I watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. On defense, the visitors. Here's Mitchell. Eight points for him. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's Harden. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Harden's got his first bucket in this one. And it's the Jazz's ball. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It's the Jazz now. Mitchell against Curry. The pass to Whiteside. Just four to shoot. Let's it fly from 18. And James pulls it down. 
Young outside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Young's got eight points in the quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Clarkson. O'Neal passes to Clarkson. Feeds to Whiteside. Basket good. Whiteside's got his first two points of the night. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Young from outside. And he stays with it over Ingle. A nice shot by Young. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. And here is Mitchell. He's got 10. Clarkson on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And that one's drained from the low block. Clarkson's got his third bucket of the night. You know, this is why teams are looking for combo guards. I mean, the defense didn't know which way to play Clarkson. Curry kicks to Harden. Here's Young. Takes it inside. And a great assist by Curry. As that one goes in. Curry's got six assists here tonight. So it's Utah now. And the Jazz call time here. And, and a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here. And it shows with their turnover numbers. He's checked in for Whiteside. Gay comes in for O'Neal. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Joe Ingle. Clarkson on the wing. Defended by Young. And that one, good. Clarkson's got six here in this quarter. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Curry dishes to Hart. Young up top. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Good on the bucket. And that's now 30 points for Champ. Hard to prevent the bigger guy from getting a clean look there. 54 seconds left now here in the second. Tipped away. Gobert down low. Working on James. Tries yet again. And it's finished off inside by Gobert. Gobert's got his second basket of the game. He knows his job. Gobert is there to own the glass and cash in on as many second chance opportunities as he can. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Gay passes to Clarkson. There's the drive. And he banks in the lane. Clarkson's, Clarkson's got 10 points in the game. Fighting his way inside, Clarkson shows good body control. Clarkson's got nearly everything to drop for him, Donovan shooting five Mitchell. of six from the field. And the foul first called foul. on Donovan Mitchell. First team foul. That is his first foul of the game. Young looking around. Knocks down the three ball. Young's got 35. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Delivering the blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys, with Quinn Snyder. Coach, they came at you offensively, so what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Um, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime.
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie, checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. How about you, Shaq? What did you do? Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What a game we're seeing from Champ. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Guys, he's been in beast mode down low, asserting his will. The defense has been helpless, unable to slow him down. Mitchell in at the two with Bogdanovich at small forward. Gobert is out there with Rudy Gay, and it's Love Conley in at the game. point. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Gobert finds Conley. Ball's knocked loose. Young with the steal. And even three-on-three -three break. Count it. Young's got 37. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. Young against Conley. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. And after a down season in 2020, with some questioning if he was over the hill, Greg Mike Conley came roaring back last season. And the first player ever to make his All-Star debut that far into his career. It had to feel something like redemption. And I tell you, he's not done yet. Has a nice new contract to prove it. Passes it to Gobert. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Six points for Rudy Gobert. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Utah. Outside Bogdanovich. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Gobert against LeBron. Five on the clock. Out to Conley. Launches a three. The rebound by Young. Conley against Curry. Here's Young. And he makes good on the layup. Young's got 41. No, oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Back to Gay. He kicks it to Mitchell. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Baseline try, and it comes off the front of the rim. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And Young, here we go. Two points. That one goes. Young's got 43 points. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Outside Conley. Back to Mitchell. Mm -hmm. 
The rebound by Harden. Here's Curry. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Assisted. Harden's got three assists in the game. Oh, great ball movement there. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Conley against Young. Gay scanning the floor. And the rejection by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. And it's in there. 45 points for Champ. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for reports from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth Man of the Year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A., thanks. Here's Mitchell, and it's blocked. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. I love the intensity dial up here from a defensive standpoint in the second half, doing a much better job. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Looking at who's out there now for the Jams. Whiteside's checked in for Gay. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Clarkson in for Mitchell. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Conley up top. Kicks it to O'Neal. Conley feeling it out. They need this one to the inside. Here's Whiteside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Right Superb recognition from the clever veteran Conley on that one. Very adept at knowing when to dish it. Here's Young. And got it! Another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something that they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Lays it up off the glass. Young's got 18 points just in the second half. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Clarkson for three. Off on that one. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided delivering the blowout. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this show. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Curry is out there with Young. Then it's Harden. Then it's LeBron James. And it's smooth in at the four-man position. Ingles dishes to Butler. Knocked loose and stolen by James. And they're pushing it up. Here's Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Now, Pascal, left side Butler. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Craig. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path, and I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have 
in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft, and that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. It's stolen by Curry. Young outside, driving in, uses the glass to finish the layup. Young's got 57 points. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Pass to Pascal. He kicks it to Ingles. Six to shoot. Count the basket. Now, here is Harden. Here's James and the dunk by LeBron. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. Right side, the best angles. Hope loose. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Oh, and the dunk by Young. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stump. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Butler. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. Butler's got four this quarter. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. James kicks to Curry. It's Young on the wing. Hits it again. Wow. Make that 61 points. Yep, first, everything first is five. going his way right now. For the Jazz, Bell's checked in. And Daniel House subbed in for O'Neal. And Clark, the NBA is supporting those players who use their platform for change. In 2021, the NBA created the new Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Award. Yeah, that sends a really powerful message because those who have followed the career of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was my idol as I was growing up, know that he not only performed at the highest level between the lines, but he has always been a voice and an activist for social justice, for education, for doing what's right and decent. His career outside of basketball clearly embodies what being about human rights is all about. So that's a really powerful message and one that I'm glad to see the NBA put forth. From the top of the key, he buries it. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Young with the steal. Two minutes remaining in the game. And then Young with the jam. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Just five to shoot. Pass to Ingles. Butler way outside. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Young passes to Smooth. Here's James, and a little LeBron hook that James. time, but it drops. So the defense is always worried about LeBron driving, so it allows him to have the space he needs and wants for his mid-range game. Butler with the ball. The pass to Pell. Butler deciding where to go with it. Passes to Pell. And the rejection by Harden. 56 seconds left in the game. Curry kicks to Young. This one for three. Trills it from outside. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Inside, 
Here's Pell. That one drops for him. Pell. The visitors with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Young drives in over House. Another one goes. Incredible. 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpless. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Haskell finds Butler. Sweet little floater. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Curry passes to Smooth. And they pick up two. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. The visiting club takes the win on the road. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, LeBron. Got after it on defense. You look motivated. You know, I heard it all from, you know, is this the last that we've seen of LeBron and the fashion that he plays? And then defensively, um, you know, he's not very good defensively. But you can't single me out. You know, it will never be a possession where a coach or, or a teammate or a player on the opposing team will single me out defensively um, because I'm in tune with that side as well. So, you know, we got a lot of guys that play the defensive side, and it's important for me to be on that side as well and take that challenge just as much as the offensive game. Seems like you took some words to heart, man. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.